You guys, look how cute the baby catcher is. It even has a cute baby face. Oh my God. What is up the world? was the night before Christmas and all through the house a Bronto was in a huge fight ladies and gentle peeps what is up the world it is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things I'm about to give this Bronto a Christmas present I got you homie it's all good buddy you don't need to worry slip gators here so everybody, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. It is Christmas Eve and Santa Gator is ready to do stuff and things. Look at this Bronto we saved. Level 10. Level 10? You guys. We can't let a... I mean, a level 10? Do we let him live? I feel like it's Christmas Eve. We have to let it live, but not you. Alrighty then. So, thanks for coming to hang out with me today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's your friendly neighborhood slip gator here. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here and taking some time to come and watch the video. You know, we've had a really uh, an amazing year here on YouTube yet again, and it's coming to an end. I always get a little bit sappy at the end of the year, and I always have a tendency to want to do like five end of the year videos and say thank you like 17,000 times. So um, you're probably going to see some different stuff. I'm trying to do a vlog tomorrow. I mean, we're this is kind of in the future past time travel stuff and things. But um, I'm getting some new stuff to try to mount some stuff to my Jeep so I can uh, maybe do a vlog with you guys and uh, drive around in the Jeep. So we're going to see how that's all going to work out. So hopefully tomorrow for Christmas you'll be able to see that. But I really hope that you guys are having a great uh, month. I hope that you're able to be with your family. I hope that you're able to be with people that are important. Um, the more I do stuff and things in the world, the more I experience in my life, the more I understand that the most important thing that I, that I'm thankful for. And the thing that I want to do the most is spend time with the people that I care about. So I hope that you are able to do that as well. You know, if you're having a hard time around the holidays, um, and we don't have any like uh, licensed people to help you at all, but we do have our discord. If you are a Twitch, um, subscriber or your subscriber on Patreon, uh, Patreon supporter at the $5 level, you know, you can head over to our Twitch, uh, to our Discord, and maybe talk to some people and hang out and just kind of take your mind off your troubles and have a good time. So, yeah, man, I'm really excited. And then today for our Christmas present, we're going to have babies. That's right, ladies and gentle peeps, babies. So we're going to do a little bit of breeding here today. We've got a lot of cool stuff and things going on. First and foremost, uh, behavior, enable wandering. We're going to go ahead and get these guys our breeding pair of tape jars to go ahead and make a baby. And then when they're done, remember, we bred the other day. This tape jar was 200. And I can't remember what I ended up taming out at. But it is a lady tape jar as well. So we're going to make two new tape jar babies. And it's going to be unbelievable and amazing. Now, one of the cool things that I've done, remember, we started to use a little bit more hot mod action. We kept the series very, very vanilla for a long, long time. And it's starting to get to a point where eh, we just need some quality of life upgrades. So we have the S plus hatchery engage the dodo is doing stuff and things and we have the nanny over here now too uh she's engaged she's definitely engaged you know what maybe we need to give you some nanny armor why don't we give you some sexy nanny armor hold on well not sexy nanny armor but you, you know what i'm saying like so like so and like so and then what kind of helmet do you want we need a helmet for you uh this guy is not wow let's see if we can do the miner's helmet hold on a second here i'm wondering where do we need to repair this bad hombre fabricator let me see if we can even repair this guy to put it on our lady so like so like so hot repair action he's done it all right so i'm pretty sure we could put armor on the nanny you, you used to be able to do that so we're gonna see here today can we put armor on the nanny wait what you can't put armor on the nanny anymore you kidding me man oh bummer dude what a bummer well we got to repair in our helmet use structure that's that there's this oh reset armor Dude, huh? <gasps> what? We just took her leg deals off. Wait, how do you do the armor? Deactivate? Activate? Ladies and gentlemen, that's a terrible disaster. Oh my God, what is that? A tech something something? Dude, what was that? I didn't see the yellow. Holy crap, man. Everything went ham. I can't even believe it. I didn't see the yellow message. Are you done breeding yet? We're having a little bit of lag. 
right now. Um, sometimes there's weird breeding lag that's been going on, and I'm not really sure exactly what's happening. But this old little lady's been at 97.8% now for a couple of minutes. We had something attack the base, and I didn't get to see what the kill message was. I think it was a Tech Rex, I think is what was in there. And then I'm wondering if this is because of something around here, if that's why she's not breeding? If that's why she's not laying the egg? It's been a really, really long time. Did you just do it? That has been done. It's done! There it is! There's the egg. So, I'm confused. Something should be picking up this egg now. So this is what I'm wondering about right here. The, the hatchery, it says it's powered. Uh, used to, wait, use reef fertilizer for fuel. We can use the tech uh, stuff and things for fuel as well. Did you get your egg? There it is! So the fertilized tape jar egg got picked up by the hatchery. I was wondering what would happen because we have the hatchery and we have the derp system to pick up stuff and things, which by the way, we have some crystals to open inside of here. I was wondering what would go on here. Now, I'm kind of glad, to be honest with you, that we had some stuff and things that weren't on passive over here, but now I have a bunch of cleaning up to do. So let's go ahead and, how about you? Can we, Ooh. hold on, and, what? He's done it. All right, so we can land this tape jar over here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and unhitch this bad ombre. Uh, let's go like so, and then unhitch Dino. Oh, you're still on water. Sorry about that. Uh-huh. 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 Wait, wait. Stop. Stop moving. I can't find your thing because they put a... There we go. All right, disable wandering, and then we'll bring this new lady tape jar over. Like a so. Like a so. Like a this. Uh, hitch the Dino into our behavior. Enable wandering, and we should be getting... Some hot mating action from this lady as well. So two new tape jars in the mix. Feels good, team. Go ahead and park here over here like so. Uh, you're a breeder, but oh my god, 30 levels? We're going to give her HPs and stamina. You never know. We might want to use this guy one day. Like that. Uh, I've got a clean up over here. So I'll be our beast peeps. So yeah, looks like a level 84 tech rex. Uh, was in the base somehow? No idea. Never have I seen that happen before. But also, it looks like we lost some snow owls. Do you remember a previous episode where we did the snow owls? Bashka brought us over some eggs. We had five, and I can only find three. So, or wait, do we? No. I don't, Breezy and Wizzle? No, we've always had those guys. Jimmy Girl, Breezy, Wizzle, Anarchist. These are all of our guys. I'm pretty sure we lost two. I don't think the Tex Rex killed them. I didn't see a death message there. Maybe that's what happened, but I'm not really exactly sure. So, all right. So here's what we got going on. We got our tape jars over here still. Looks like this guy got some levels, three levels. Pump some hot stamina action on that guy. And this lady right here is kind of our main deal. But what I've done is we have four hours in betwixt, or I think three hours-ish in between mating. Um, I'm going to leave them here, and I'm going to leave them on uh, Wander. And they're attached to the hitching post here, so they should go ahead and just make babies. Um, we have two eggs inside the hatchery, and then what this does is automatically, it keeps these guys alive, makes the spoil timer super long, and then it incub incubates them down to about 1%. So if we, when we drop them, they're going to go ahead and just hatch almost instantly. So pretty cool stuff and things. Let's go back inside of our inventory here, and then let's go with hitching posts. Uh, I want to build two more of these. Let's go ahead and pull the resources for that. Build two more hitching posts, like so and like so. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and whistle passive again on the entire on the entire area. I'm going to take McGriddle. I'm going to make sure McGriddle's kind of like over in the in the middle part here. This McGriddle's kind of our, he's our bodyguard. We're going to stick him over here like this. And then we'll pop inside of here and then check his, what, behavior, uh, stance. We should have him on neutral. So if anything attacks in the base, McGriddle is the guy that does the work. And then we can also set him on, I do believe there is a new deal, right? Uh... Isn't there one? Options? I thought there was an ignore whistle deal now. <laughs> Harvest settings, behavior, ignore group whistles. There it is right there. All right. So now if we whistle something in the area, it won't affect him. If somebody else on the in the tribe comes and whistles something in the area, it won't affect him. 
he'll be ready to rock and roll no matter what goes on. So that's good. Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, okay, two new hitching posts. Let's go ahead and pop those guys down over here. And what I think we're going to do is just try to set... Hey, are you trying to poop on me right now? Please don't. Please don't poop on me. Can I... I need to... I just, I just need to get through here. Can I just get... Can I get through over here? Is there a way? Okay, we're through. Okay. He's pooped something out! All right, so we have uh, more war maps. I've been creating some as we're doing stuff and things. Now we're going to set this over here like so. And I'm going to hitch these two guys like this and like this. Now, I've yet to see how this works. I'm wondering... You're the lady, right, Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis is the lady. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set behavior, enable wandering, behavior, enable wandering. Ready to mate. Are they close enough? Are they ready for sexual attractiveness? She's mating. It's happening. Bruce Willis, you're going to be a father. Hitch these guys over here, too, just so we don't have to worry about them moving around. Uh, like so. And like so. He's done it. All right. So that's going on over there. This guy's breeding, and it's happening quite quickly, in fact. 22.6%. I have never seen a baby gacha. I'm so excited for you, Bruce Willis, to become a baby. Oh, he won't look at me. Oh, what? Oh, they're upset. I think when they don't look at you, they're in an upset state. Is it because they're humping? Is it because everybody's watching you humping? Is that why you're mad? Are you going to look at me? Wait, are you looking at me now? No, he's looking at me, right? No, they're peeved. Maybe it's because they're humping. I'm not sure. Um, it might be because they moved around a little bit. And I didn't think they got too close to any of the other gachas. We got one over there. Manifest's over there. Sergeant Mofo's over there. And then we, we lost the gacha too somewhere along the way. We had another guy over here and it got keeled somehow. Um, but yeah, I don't know why they're upset, but it doesn't really matter. As long as they make a baby, I'll be happy. Okay, so we have a new and uh, different mating plan here for these guys, too. I figured, why wouldn't we just, like, do a little bit of baby action where we can make all the babies ever? So, what we're doing now is moving some stuff and things around here. I feel like you're in there. That's going to be G's. And then we'll move the guy in the back area here. So, with these snow owls that Bashka gave us, we did get two ladies and a dude. So, I'm feeling like if I was to put them like so. Now, let me see here. Can I hit you? Oh, you're kidding me, right? It's just like, just barely too far away. So I can hit you, right? Wait, what? I put the deal down, right? Did I not? Is there a, there's a hitching post here, is there not? There's a hitching post. There it is. Why is there no hitch dino command? Are they already hitched? Is this a hitching post? I did put it kind of close to this one. But it told it told me that that was not a problem. It told it kind of says to you, you can't hitch. It's too close. And I'm wondering why these guys can't get hitched. So I wanted to put the two ladies and the dude over here, so that we can make them have super unbelievable and amazing babies. But I'm not getting the hitching option. You see, if you pop up over here, unhitch dino. Am I missing it? Is this crazy? Am I being crazy? No, I'm not being crazy. It's not in there. What the crap, man. Get hitched. Hmm, very strange. Very, very strange things are happening. So, uh, the hitching post won't allow you to place it too close to a second hitching post, right? So, if we go in here, I'll show you. Might as well make another one because I like hitching posts. So, if we're inside of here, like this, and we make this hitching post, just for demonstration purposes, I will show you here. It says right there, too close to another structure of similar type. I had it over here. No problemo. Move it over here. We can't do it. Too close to another deal of similar type. By the way, Bruce Willis is currently gestating a baby. Uh, and I've been making war maps for Ducky over and over and over again. So we have some more war maps, some more hot crystal action. Six or a half dozen, here we are. So I wasn't able to hitch any of them over there. I moved this over here, and all of a sudden we're good. There's the hitch dino. And I think we can go over here. Can we maybe get right down in? I want to get to the hitching post. We can actually do it right with the hitching post, too. It says, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Stop. Whoa, what? Dude, what the crap is going on there, man? I completely lost control of my suit. Dude, that scared the crap out of me. I don't know what's going on there. All right, back to business. Over here, we are going to now hitch these snow owls. Like so. Hitch. 
behavior, enable wandering. There's a lady right there. Over here, hitch, behavior, enable wandering. And then over here, the dude, get hitched, behavior, enable wandering, lucky guy. Oh, whoa! Is he mating two at once? Dude, is that even... I don't even know what that's called. An owl, je toi. <laughs> so, um, that means we're making owl babies. But over here as well... Are these guys set? I think I already set them for wander, did I not? I did. So, ready to mate. <gasps> Dude, did it work? Is all this automation happening right now? Two snow owls? Wait, where'd the snow owl eggs go? Wait, what? Hold on a second here. Something weird went on. There's regular snow owl eggs. <gasps> They're inside of here. So, this is no bueno. This, oh, that stinks, man. So, this thing seems to work on the tape jar eggs, but it looks like... Oh, and you can't put them in? What? So, I can't manually put them in there. What happens... Oh, I'm scared to deactivate this. Okay, can I put them in now? No, activate. Okay, so we got a little difference in the spoilage timer. It looks like... This thing picked up these eggs before the dirt picker upper deal, before the hatchery did. So, we have two more snow owl eggs over here. You can see right there, ready to mate in three hours and something. Ready to mate in three hours and something. Interesting. Now, over here, did you, any of you poop out an egg yet? Currently mating. I'm not seeing... Whoa, did it just happen? Did you poop something out? Oh! Wait, you're the dude. And you're the lady. All right, let's do a test. Let's see what happens here. And then now, ready to mate in three hours. Ready to mate in two hours. I think the differences in the timers have to do with the hatchery or the nanny can change that for us. So I'm pretty sure we should have another snow owl egg somewhere. Let's check the hatchery. There it is. So it picked up that one. That is so weird. Wait, wait, wait. There should be two. Are you coming in to do stuff and things there, buddy? All right, let's check over here. There's the other one. Isn't that odd? So then that time... Like, over in this location, the derp device picked up one, and then the hatchery picked up the other one. Eh, that is very, very weird. All right, so over here, let's go ahead and drop, drop, drop all three of those guys. Is it a proximity thing? No. They all back went back in here. All right, so if we go inside of here, let's turn off that collector. Kind of stinks that it doesn't work, but that's okay. It is what it is. So, uh, we'll, oh, oh, oh. Now, all three of these guys should be, fingers crossed, picked up by the hatchery. I think this thing sweeps every once in a while, so it might take a minute here. Is it going to work? Are we making all of the babies possible? Pick them up! You guys, we did it! That's right, it's a little baby! Hello, little baby! Oh, my God, come here! Come over here! What are you doing? Follow me. Are you stuck? I heard, certainly hope not. Also, uh, food. We need, I mean, what does it eat? Does it eat berries when it's little? What do we need to gestate this thing? Don't tell me you're not stuck in there. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm assuming we could put berries in there. Will you eat the berries? It does. Okay, so berries will work. Interesting. Because, you know, gotchas eat all sorts of stuff. But it looks like that the berries will work. You guys, look how cute the baby Gacha is. It even has a cute baby face. Oh, my God. You're so precious. Oh, my God. Production, what do you have? Obsidian. Oh, that's not bad. I'll take it. That's cool. We got obsidian. Hold on. We got to... Wait, am I standing up now? All right, come over here. Look at it go. And it runs. It's so neat. What a cutie patootie. What are you waiting on? Are you winded? I feel like it's winded. It's, it's too winded to move. Come on, little guy. Let's go, little guy. Oh, come to me. Come over here. Come over here, little guy. Oh, you know you want to. Oh, you can do it. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Is that your run? Is that, is that all we get? Come on, do you run? Or do you only do like a really slow... There we go. There's more of this, the little saunter. Look how cute it is. Oh my God. All right, so we got to go in as, as we always do. Uh, behavior, disable wandering. What are you doing? 
What is happening in our base? Get out. Are you still on follow, homie? All right. So the baby gotcha is here. We got the behavior, right? Disabled wandering is off. Okay. So it's disabled. The wandering is not going to happen. Feels good, team. So we got some berries on there. Oh, dude. Did you already eat 100 berries? Uh, oh, wow. Uh, okay. Do you eat stone for food? Let us find out. Do we have any hot stone action? I've probably got some inside of here. Dude, what? Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and grab like 75 stone just to see. Does it eat whatever? I don't know what the best gotcha food is. I could go and Google it, which some of you are doing right now, so that you can copy and paste it into the chat and be a know-it-all. But I'm just going to try this out see how it works. Okay. Its health is going up. It's at 75. Oh, it just grew. Food dropping. Oh, my God. Maybe it just needs berries. Maybe that's the only thing we can do. So we have a bunch. I mean, I'll grab like maybe a couple hundred or whatever. I just grabbed it right there. There we go. But it, it I mean, we walked it over and it ate 50 berries like it was nothing. Yeah, we're going to have to go get some more. All right. So the baby is doing its baby things. Look at it. See, it's little baby food. And I wonder if it would like. I wonder if it would, um, like, make little baby eggs, little baby gotcha crystals. That would be amazing. Uh, let's come over here like so. Let's bring it over into this really type area and make sure it's close to the nanny. It is so cute. All right. So you stay right there, buddy. Now, we have something else that's going on. You may have noticed in my hot bar. Um, remember how we just had a tech T-Rex attack the base? And then we said, ah, oh, we'll whistle passive on everybody except McGriddle. Well, we had an enforcer, or no, not the enforcer, the other guy. What are they even called? Is there one around here somewhere? You know what I'm talking about. The little guard drone guys. I can't remember the name of them. We had one of those guys come into the base and just started attacking Fingerbutt. And he was just, Fingerbutt was just being a Fingerbutt, just doing Fingerbutt stuff and things. Dude, is there one around? Sentry drone? Is that what it is? Anyway. He was just doing this finger butt stuff and things, and he started getting attacked. It was unbelievable and amazing. Now, there's a couple of things we can do. Oh, yeah, and the other point, the most important point, is that McGriddle did not come over here and help. So you can see, wow, he got his HPs back. But McGriddle just stood there, even though he was on defense. So we're going to go ahead over here and implement some modern technological stuff and things, which I'm going to call tech turrets. Let's go, team. So hot tech turret action. Bam, there he's done it. And then we can... Oh, yeah, turn her on, and then we can squirt in, I'm feeling like 100. And then we're going to go ahead and modify some stuff and things. So turret options, if we go inside of here, I want to set the distance to low, and I'm going to set it to a no warning and wild only, except. So that should only attack wild dinos, and it should be on a fairly low range. Now, with that guy over there, I'm feeling like the best place to put our second turret would probably be... Right over here, like this. So let's stick that guy right there, like so. Oh, yeah. Like this. And then we'll pop inside of here. Now, I'm going to test this. What I'm going to do this time is set it for high range. Uh, no, not tamed only. Not tamed only. Wild only. Except. So are you going to do anything? to? I want to see what the, what the range is like here. It's on, right? It looks like it's good. Oh. Oh, oh, that range, though. Oh, that damage. We had, what, 106 ammo? Okay, so it didn't take too much ammo to do that. We set this uh, now to low, except hopefully that will be pretty good. You know what I'm feeling like? I'm feeling like we need to make a third one. I want a good line of defense on the backside of the base here. They're not super expensive either. So let's see here. The S-plus turret. There we go right there. Only cost three element. Cementing paste electronics. I mean, it really is not that bad compared to some things. So we can craft up a third one here. And I feel like over in this area would be pretty good. Hopefully, doesn't matter what comes into the area. This guy will be able to take care of business. Maybe we'll put this guy right there like that. Inside of there, let's drop another hundred. I'll have to get some more element shards going here. Set this guy up. Turret options. Low range. Wild only, except there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hot, sexually attractive tech turret action for defense of our base area place here. 
And that way, anything comes in the back there, it's freaking, it's dead. It's gonna be dead. That's what I'm talking about. Did you eat your berries? Oh my god, did it eat the stone too? What the crap, dude? This thing is like insatiable. Okay, so we got four new snow owl babies, two new tape jar babies, and then over here we have our juvenile gacha. I got a bunch of berries and squirted them on there, so he should be fine. This guy right here, not enforcer. What are you called? I'm not going to be able to look through the window. I have to figure this out because it's really bugging me. Dude, did I just do that? That was amazing. Defense units, Parby. Such a gen generic name. It's hard to remember. Um, so those guys are all GTGs. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I left some of these guys on Wander so they can mate on the hitching post. I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the collector. And then does that... It does not change the spoilage timers. So now look at all this, man. All of this hot gotcha crystal action. I mean, a huge amount here. What do we got down here? These are journeyman, apprentice, ramshackle, primitive... And then all of these guys. So let's pick up all of this stuff right... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are some of these... They look different. Hmm. Maybe it's the background. I don't know. They look like some of them were actually uh, gear crystals instead of the regular crystals. So I'm going to pop over here like so. I'm going to stand in front of my smithy. And then we're going to go ahead and consume all these bad boys. Dude, I found black pearls! Oh, wait, one of them wasn't a deal. 1,400 black pearls. That's what I'm talking about. Ramshackle riot helmet. Sexually attractive deal. Dude, I wish we could wear more of these guys. It looks pretty cool, right? I'm totally down. Um, let's go ahead and take and put our Santa hat back on, though. We'll squirt this guy inside of here like so. All right, so pretty cool. We got a bunch of stuff and things, but the piece de resistance. We have to uh, uh, do all these guys. Let's see what kind of gear we're going to get here. All right, feels good. Popping over here like so. That, whoa, 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 what the crap? What was that? Let's go into our inventory, and we want to open the crappiest ones first. Oh, well, that's not it. Uh, Ramshackle. Apprentice Pike. Wah, wah, wah. Fabricated sniper rifle. Yeah, dude, I want one of these. 199% damage. Man, we could do better. Fabricated sniper rifle again. I really want uh, I really want like a super high-end one 197 as opposed to oh, dude, that's better than what we have Sweet, okay journeyman Mastercraft. Okay, here we go. Oh Dude, I turned to working. Oh Give friggin rack defense you you stupid dink It's over for you. That was exactly working as intended. All right so, uh, over here, let's just go again in case we get too heavy. Wow, we could squirt some of this inside of there. This guy can go. Uh, wait, 208. Nowhere near as good as this guy, 298. But we will squirt that in there. That, 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 and that. All right, let's go here. Stone what? A s what? Ascended bow? Friggin' worst thing ever. Who cares? Ooh, ascendant simple pistol. Interesting. Oh, a Senate Rye Gear helmet we can't wear. All right, here it is. This is the big moment. Gah! Wah, wah, wah. Ew, whoa, 300 uh, 368% damage. Ah. Oh, baby, that's a big boy right there. There's our new guy. All right, sweet. So now we got an Ascendant Metal Pick and an Ascendant Hatchet. Feels good, team. Now, this guy's 503%. This guy's only 350, but it's better than nothing, right? I'm pretty much into that. Wait, what do we get here? Primitive long neck rifle? What the crap? Where did that even come from? Uh, okay, okay. Big bucks. No whammies. Mwah! Ooh, wait! <gasps> oh, my God, dude, you guys! New Ascendant Shotgun. 472% damage. Get on my level. That was big. Oh! Oh. Pump action shotgun. Where have you been all my life? Final crystal. Yeah, yeah. Some, some, yeah, we can't really wear that stuff. No big whoop there. Oh, you guys. That's pretty big, man. We got some hot shotgun stuff and things going on now. 
Let's make sure these guys have what they need. Let's test them out really quickly. Okay, this guy, good. Reload on here. All right. Level 125. You want to take it to the limit? Let's just test this on this guy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So the last uh, gun did like, I think about 140 per pellet. Get wrecked. And then we're going to pop this guy out right here. Oh, you think you got what it takes? You think you got what it takes, homie? That was epic, man. A 125 Bronto get wrecked by my shotgun stuff and things. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, and the range on this guy's way better. So, i am always been a fan of using the... The weapons that use the least amount of ammo. Oh, it's a 150 Bronto. Dude, I can't. I can't kill it. I cannot kill it. We have to tame it. I mean, we have to tame it. It's stuck. Uh, like this, and like this, and like that, Anna. What just happened? What the heck? What was that? What? Oh, give me a break. There we go. Oh, ow. All right, you guys. I'm going to try to get this guy tamed up, but I think it's going to have to be something we show off in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget. Show your support and smash the thumbs up button. And I got to tell you guys, thank you so much for all your support this year. Thanks to everyone who supports on patreon.com slash slipgator to offset YouTube being mean to us. Thank you so much to everybody over. Uh, at the Twitch channel who watches and supports. I mean, I just can't thank you enough. I feel very lucky to be here with you guys. I hope that you have fun watching the videos. I hope that you have an amazing Christmas tomorrow. I'm going to knock this bad old Bray out. And then I'm going to squirt berries up his butt. It's the perfect Christmas Eve. Thank you so much for watching, peeps. And may the stuff of things be with you. <laughs>